Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4. It is our Iron Man game as Germany here. We're currently in a war against Austria, just trying to wipe them off the map for once and for all. And uh, Portugal is our ally, and Portugal was nice enough to ask for access rights to, um, to France and Spain, which means we're going to be able to walk through France and Spain here. So that's exactly what we're doing now, just to get to the point where we've got enough war score that Austria is willing to give up. It might, I don't know, like we've been in so many goddamn wars with Portugal because they keep, they're allied with like so many things that annoy us here. We could just take land from them, which would be interesting. You know, we could next war against France slash Spain. We could start with some troops here and move in that way, but we'd be sort of split. I think in practice what had happened is we would just sort of leave this empty and then... Um, let them siege this out, and then eventually we'll go and desiege it, but that could be annoying too. Wow, finished a calling over here. How nice is that? Oh, theologian died. What can we get? Uh, how are we on inflation? Sorry, over here. It's going up slightly, but not relevant. Um, I think we're going to take the missionary strength. That'll actually be really, really, really helpful, um, actually. This is, where does it show his class? Yeah, Inquisitor. Yeah, so I was pretty sure. Um, that'll be really helpful because we actually have a lot of things to convert over. So saving a little bit of time will make a difference. We can't core that because we're in a war with um, Austria. So let's move you down here, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll let them. See, we're nice. Uh, this is very siege heavy. So let's go and siege this fort here. Or cannon heavy is what I meant to say. So we're attacking in here, you know, being being kind of loosey-goosey about it, but Portugal is not a military powerhouse. So yeah, we crush their troops in anything remotely close to even numbers. Uh, wait, wait here, stop. You are going to group up, split, go there, split, go there, and you will split and then go there. We'll cover all the territory, and actually we'll probably get some retreating uh, Portuguese guys. Looks like we still have some... Um... I don't know where you're going. I don't know, there we go. Um, we still have some uh, mercs around. Let's leave the cannons behind here. There we go. Someone here still had mercs, so we'll look at uh, dropping them off in a second here. <laughs> Although we can't really disband armies when we are in enemy territory. So we don't have a leader there, but I'm not worried. I mean, he's got nowhere to run. Okay, apparently he does have somewhere to run. Let's go ahead and do that. Then turn you around and turn you around. Alright, so that's going to be fine. So yes, we'll have to decide what we're going to do with Portugal. We'd even separate piece them out first. Um... If I were to eat all of Germany, I'd be at 51% overextension, so I could just take some land from these guys, and I think I will do that. I'm wondering about taking lands that don't have forts or something, so even if someone sieged things out over here, it wouldn't cost me anything, really. On the other hand, if it did have a really powerful fort, it can, again, distract a bunch of the Spanish or French troops next time we're in a war with them, just keep them busy for a good long time. That is something to consider. All right, so we got the full blockade. We've got the full siege bonuses. Yes, it is a damn shame that we don't have our four siege pip guy anymore. He was really nice. See, I wasn't even running the war stuff. Oh, I'm not. Um, I'm not blockading. There we go. Ceuta and Melilla over here. Which? Wait, that's Spanish, not Portuguese. Never mind. I'm going to move you guys back here, and you guys are just going to go back to protecting trade in the English Channel. What's my trade power there without any ships? Yeah, only 43%, so I definitely need the ships. Wow. It's nuts. Um, I don't, well, this will be... It doesn't really matter too much, but I've got flat money, so let's just go and spend the flat money to stop the, the pirates. Truce of Savoy has ended. That'll be another good one to wipe out. I mean, they're still allied with France. So, one way or another. I mean, we're chipping away at them. We grabbed a handful of provinces from them last time. New tech. So, we could invest in min tech. Um, we do want a core. I think I'll wait until this war is over, just to make sure everything's okay. I could actually just wait longer for the, um, for the tech as well, until we're forced to take it. Like, if we take it, we do get what? It's more production, I think. And that's pretty good. Because that's more money up front, and since we control trade so much, we'll really get the double dip on that. It's really, really quite good. Um, 
But it's not the end of the world. It's not like we're, we're broke anyway. We don't need the, the extra money. Um, and so I'll just save it. We can even get a bigger discount later as more neighbors get the admin tech. We can go to minus 10 or even more. And I think that'll be worth it. So there's a 100% blockade of Portugal itself or siege of Portugal itself. So if I were to get Portugal out of this, I'm pretty sure that would remove everyone else from here. And that would give me 100% with Austria, which is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go and separate piece of Portugal. I'm sure they're willing to talk. And the question is, do I take land from them? A 22% war score. I mean, I could. I could take something with a fort, without a fort. There's some interesting options here. Hmm. It's sort of six of one, half dozen of the other. Like, I can see all kinds of arguments for different directions. I think what I'm going to do is grab you, and I'm actually going to annul your treaties with France. Oh, I can't. Okay, or I can take another province. I'm going to annul your treaties with France because it'll make our follow-up war with France a lot easier. Um, and then I guess I'll just take some money for spite. There we go, that much. Okay, so they are just piecing out themselves, but they'll bring all their colonies with them. There we go, which instantly gets us to 100% war score with Austria because we have everything um, occupied there. So we're going to move all of our troops back to home territory, which we'll have to redistrib redistribute them after they get there. Um, our ships off the coast, you are light ships, so you can go ahead and uh, protect trade in the English Channel. You'll also do some auto repair from that as well. You are on my heavies, so I'm just going to park you in Normandy again. That seems like a fine place to go. All right, so just waiting for the diplomat to come home. doop a doop a doop doop boop 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 There you go. And, oh, we're maxed on military. Really? Yeah, 130%, so we can't even tech up. <laughs> wow so sick okay so we're grabbing all your territory full annexation we'll eat all your money too nom blam hello austria welcome to the party welcome to anschluss excellent core all the things okay that'll be that um wow military power well i guess the thing to do will be to look at again at where we've got our nobility and just go and boost we're gonna spend to increase your military rating over here plus it'll make you own a higher percentage of our development which means you won't be as cranky about being assigned territory although as i say that you can see we've got a bit of that going on because we have just taken some territory as well all right so we started the corn process uh Right, I guess I need the course to be in place before I can flip you. Uh, Linz over here, you seem like a pretty decent candidate for some clergying. So we're going to do that. And as for the nobility, I don't know. You know what? Let's, um, let's give you this. I'll bring it to exactly 10. But we're going to be doing that sort of thing. I mean, I'm doing that first so that you get a bigger boost to your um, your loyalty from the more powerful province. So I'm going to do that. So both of you guys should stop yelling now. No. I did not make the clergy happy enough? Really? Uh, this is a decent clergy province. There you go. Okay. Maybe I misclicked on something at some point. Been known to happen. Building the spine network and platinum. Right, because the platinum is next. Mm -hmm. So we'll actually get you to go there, and one of you are going to go over here. Because that'll be a pretty easy squoosh. Hungry in Genoa. Now, that's interesting. That's actually very interesting. I'm going to improve relations with Hungary over here. Um, oh, a royal marriage with Great Britain ended. Let's go ahead and renew that. So, let me... You're improving relations. We're gonna... I'm gonna stop the counter-espionage. Since I don't have any vassals anymore, I actually don't care if these guys sabotage my reputation or anything. It's kind of meaningless. Honest broker. Okay, get a relationship boost. Uh, we are going to remarry Great Britain. Very handy to keep that around. Excellent. Thank you. Merchants doing poorly is expired. Oh, we can take a look at our estates here. All right, we could do that. Okay, let's just hold out a little bit more. 
Well, we're at exactly 50%. And I've just done this. Now, nah. well, wait. Anti-clericalism. Must force them to pay. Mm, something about the burgers. Uh, we can gain some money. It makes the clergy feel better, but the burgers feel worse. And the clergy would gain influence, bring them up to slightly over 70, which is a bit of a danger zone. I'm going to go with the mild reprimand here. So it loses some loyalty here, which costs us a bit of money, but that's okay. A bit of disloyal estates. I'm not too worried about that. Oh, their influence just dropped, so maybe I would have changed it. No, I don't care about alliances with you people. You aren't relevant. You're just, like... You're fleas, you're insects. Every country in the game other than me. And, I mean, immediately, I suppose the Ottomans, Hungary, France, they're still kind of relevant. Great Britain, sure. Sweden, I don't consider relevant at all in this game. Uh, yay, conversions. It's nice to have that plus 2%. Makes a big difference. I mean, our religious unity is still huge because of our humanism. But you may as well go ahead and do some conversions anyway. Helps with things. You are going to have to wait for the autosave to finish. There we go. Grab you, split you in half, send you there. Oh, hold on. You got some mercs. Grab you. Disband you. Okay. Split you in half. Send you here. Actually, split you in half again. Send you there. And then this giant stack, we're going to pull you back a little bit. Okay. We'll be able to instantly siege out everything momentarily. Um, how close are we to finishing our cores? About halfway. And we'll have to wait for the sieges to finish. So, yeah. So, Genoa... I think still has an island over here. Hungary is the big question mark if whether or not they will join in the war. I'm going to pull all my troops back a little bit in case they do join in. This will give us more time to respond. Um, we're going to manpower. I mean, manpower went up during the course of that war. Now, I could go and ally people just as easy, you know, get pulled into wars, but we can declare war whenever we want, so... It, is there any chance you're small enough that you would accept vassalization ever? Germany owns... No. Palatine core provinces. Alright. So we're just going to grab you. And we'll actually take you for nationalism. Because you're, uh, you're German. Oh. Has military access. So we're going to cancel that. And Hungary will jump in on this. Oh, yeah. i got to wait a little bit longer. That's interesting. I'm actually quite surprised that Hungary will do that. But I'm not worried. And I will start by instantly sieging all of the Platinate land. Yeah, they will jump in. Wow. Okay, and I'm going to declare Alsace to be the war goal here. It does have a fort. Um, let's do Brezgau. We can get our ticking war score a little faster. Bam. There we go. Our long, 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 long relationship with Hungary is probably coming to an end here. So you guys are going to scoosh there. You're going to move in like that. Like that. Uh, we need cannons over here. So you seem like you have a lot of them. Well, you've got some as well. You'll move in here. You'll move in there. And the rest of you guys are just going to sit around. Oh, I got a bunch of troops sitting down here, which I'd forgotten about. Um, my heavies... I'm going to get you moved back down into the gulf here. Actually, I should probably check what kind of milit or navy Hungary has. I don't expect it to be that significant because they don't have a ton of coast. No, yeah, okay. So my 25 heavies are going to be able to easily deal with whatever they've got there, which is fine. This is an actual fort. Um, I know they have got like 80k or something like that. Uh... Rather than move back, what I'm going to do is some of the guys who are just sitting around doing nothing. You're going to move forward to Gores and Crane. And your cannons are going to move down to Istria. Like that. Yeah, I forgot we had a whole group over there. We're now a conqueror. Minus five years of separatism. Well, that sounds really handy. can't believe the game would call me a conqueror, though. That's really insulting. That's not anything like my actual personality. I can't believe it. All right, you got that. You've got a uh, capital fort or something to deal with there. It's not going to be much here. We'll, we'll overkill it like that. And apparently you're going to run into my territory, so... Well, you might be running all the way to Hungary. I suppose that's possible. All right. Hungary's moved in there. We can easily go and bop them, though. 
winning all the sieges here, here, there. Let's group up over there. Okay. Um, I think I'll move you up here too. And actually, I can move you into this territory here. Which will actually kick these boats out, which is going to be interesting. Well, they're going to leave right away. Hmm. Even before my heavies show up and before they're forced out. Alright, that's been fully sieged. Platinet, 100% sieged. Uh, Genoa, probably less sieging is going to go on there. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, you with all the cannons, you're going to go there. And actually, you can end up in Zagreb as well. Alright. I'm not worried about Genoa. Uh, if we went and blockaded them, they might decide that peace is required. Okay, you just chill there. You can go and reinforce in either direction very easily. Excellent. You don't have any cannons? No. So just sit there. That's fine. Religious zeal going away. All right. All right, you. Go and smoosh face. And actually, I'm going to get you to force march because I don't want these guys to be able to run away. Yay, cores. Ally? Great Britain? No, that's fine, buddy. You've been helping us out a lot. We appreciate it. Maybe you could do something with Genoa, but I don't care that much. All right, so we completely stack wiped. Hungry. I'm feeling bad about this. I mean, they were, you know, they were the good guys coming and defending uh, people that were, you know, legitimately being harassed by a much, much, much more powerful foe. Um, and, you know, I, I appreciate their goodness involved here, but it has cost them very, very, very dearly. So we're going to go to a fort over there. We've got some people moving on to Pest here. You stop. Okay. I guess you're locked in, so go ahead and keep moving there. That's going to be fine. And you just split up that way. And we'll siege all the things. So, while we do want to fully annex the Palatinate, I think this might be a fine time for us to just swallow up some Hungarian territory. Specifically, I think we'll take their coast. I think that's fine. We're going to punish them for being nice people and coming to the aid of someone who really needed some help. Because, you know, that's, that's the kind of person we are, I guess. Uh, you are way, way crazy here. Let's go and trim you down like that, give you a little bit of infantry to defend, and then the rest of you... Oh, there's a fort back here, so let's go ahead and do that. And we'll keep sort of splitting up. Oh, you were still force marching. Oh, no, we spent some military power. We didn't have to. We're still way ahead of time, but kind of hurts at the same time. Uh, you're going to go there. You can go here and here. This would be nice to hit an AI button to, like, auto-siege everything. Ew, we still have some troops over here, too. Okay. Uh, leave you. Leave a handful of infantry. Select you. I'll move you back, I suppose, into my own territory here. We're going to take uh, some of these cannons, move them down here. How many would that be? That would be sufficient. That's how many that would be. Yay, conversions. And another one in a second. Needs one more month of ticking. There it is. Uh, we could admin tech again, but I will hold on to that for some coring. Speaking of coring, how are we doing? Oh, yeah, no overextension. Lovely. So, yes, um, I should be warring more frequently and more harder if I'm really looking to paint my name as big as possible. Because anytime I'm sitting with no overextension is bad, really. Well, I mean, unless I'm forced to spend admin points somewhere else. Like, the idea is I should be spending 100% of my, my admin points coring from now on if I really wanted to just paint my name as big as possible. Yeah, we can make that run. That's fine. And no extra cannons over there. Go here. Go there. Yeah, just start carping sieging some stuff. Uh, yeah, you can move there. It's a little bit awkward, but it's fine. And detach a siege and go there. Or detach a blockade and go there. Siege of Pest is done. Can I make it here? No. Can I make it here? I don't remember if there's already someone going there. I thought there was. Tell you what, we can move here instead. Because I know no one's going that way. Still need some extra cannons here. Or any cannons. Yeah, any cannons at all. Uh, I don't know if we have any sitting around. So you're actually sieging here. You've got nothing. Here, I'm going to split you up just in case there's some attrition later on. You're sieging properly. Yeah, I guess that's that. Do I have any dudes back here still? Mm, nope. Winter Siege. 
you know what? Just 2,000 manpower is nothing. I don't want to slow down the sieging. Siege of Istria is done. So I'm going to take all these cannons and move them here. And you're just going to, I don't know, move up some. I guess you could move here. And you can move here if we just want a full siege of Hungary. Germany occupied. Yes, that's good. Move here and move there. Tons of manpower. Like, we gained so much manpower in the last war. Go and bop them. Oh, poor Hungary. Just doing what's right. Just doing what's right and being punished for it. That's the moral of the story, boys and girls. Uh, no good deed goes unpunished. Which might be a rule of acquisition. I don't remember. That's too awkward to make that move. Let's just stay there for now. You can go there, though. That's going to be okay. Uh, we'll make vague promises of reform. We're definitely not spending any um, admin power preventing the revolution. Uh, Zagreb, excellent. Can you make it all the way here? No. Because you got to wait for that siege to finish. Oh, you don't have enough cannons, though. So let's go and grab, tell you what, all 18 cannons, we'll throw them in there. Help out with that. Boom, boom, boom. Excellent. We're going to go and just get a handful of infantry over there. So you're still blockading here. And we're going to have to wait for this siege to finish. And then we'll move everyone to blockade Genoa. I don't think we can get Genoa to, get, to surrender from the blockade, but I don't know. Trade protection CB against Brittany. Okay. Yeah, see, I wish I could just filter that CB out. That CB has never been interesting to me in any way whatsoever. I don't care about it. I don't need to know when I gain or lose that CB. But I don't think you can filter pop-ups by CB. All right, Hungary wants out of the war, and I can't blame them, but we're going to wait a little bit longer. Because we're just going to get one more over here. Oh, and I want to grab the coast, actually, which means I've got to finish sieging all this stuff. The coast is specifically what I'm interested in, so I have to take these two forts, otherwise I can't take anything along the coast. So sorry, Hungary, it's going to have to last a little bit longer. I know, I feel bad. You've just been a nice guy, you've been helping me out. I don't have enough cannons here. Oh, just because of some slight attrition ticks. Well, let's cut back on the infantry a bit, and is there any chance I have an cannon somewhere here? Probably not. Uh, it's slightly annoying. Won the Siege of Dalmatia. And then we're going to fight the ships. Okay, you're back up to plus five, which should be fine. Alright, we've got that. Now, I don't actually have to keep the ships here as much. Um, well, let's go and auto repair some. We won that siege. So, I'll just split you up here, here, here. Uh, Platinum. Nope, we got to wait a little bit longer. We've got to finish the siege of, um, what is this province? Travunia. So that we can take Ragusa. We are capped on Diplopower. Um, uh, er, do we take Mercantilism? Develop a province? Here, promote Mercantilism. Done. We're almost capped on military as well. So, I think that means more... Development. Of our military estates. Oh my god. They've all been developed to the max over here. So this is actually a military estate here, which hurts a little bit. Here, it's going to be super expensive. It's going to be a good way to sink some points. I don't know. Not necessarily a higher bang for a buck. But as I say, super, it hurts because, you know, we're losing the 25% built-in autonomy from a relatively high tax and production base. But that's all right. Okay, you finish that. It's this siege I need to finish, though. It means I can move into here, though. So I guess I'll do that. Are you coming after me, bro? Man, I feel bad. It's going to be another complete stack wipe. I'm sorry, Hunk. What's your military tech? Is that... No, 28, 28. It's not that. Just It's just all of our ideas and national traits and things like that. That's just making it too overwhelming. Okay, I just need this province to give up. 
This province needs to give up on life so that we can end this war. Because I'm just feeling super guilty. Super guilty. Can I move in here? Actually, yeah. Let's do that. Actually, let's move in that way. And you do that. So, I don't need to actually siege Ragusa, but what the hell, right? We don't have to worry about their navy. I mean, I already don't have to worry about their navy, but... I don't know, man. Let's do it. God, I'm such a jerk. High fervor. Yeah, let's grab some stability, because I think there was maybe a little bit of crotchiness. I can call in an ally. Yes. No, it's okay. I don't need Greek Britain. I'm fine. I got this. Don't worry, bro. Alright, we'll go and siege uh, Corsica. I don't think... Well, I mean, if I did it long enough, because it does build up um, war exhaustion, eventually Genoa would be willing to get out. Which might be relevant in terms of being able to fully annex the Palatinate. But we're going to peace Hungary first. And actually, I'm going to try to grab as much territory as I can from Hungary. Which means there's a good chance I'll start to get the call for peace from um, from the Palatinate. Okay, how kind of navy you got sitting here? Nothing. I, I should be able to handle that. Uh, although we do have some heavily damaged ships. I'm going to move some of them out to be fixed. Okay, that's done. Good. Sue so for peace. 92% war score with them specifically. So we want the all the coastal provinces for one. And then after that, I don't think I really care what I grab. Um, just in case, I'll, I don't know, I'll grab like a full state or something over here. That would be 99%. You're not willing to do it. 91%. Okay, we'll do this. So it's going to be 49% overextended. Uh, do you have any alliances that might annoy me? The Palatinate one doesn't matter. There you go. So we'll just eat some money. Okay. Bam. Although if I want to make my name bigger, I'm going to have to trim them down from the, the north. Although that'll be more relevant after we finish off the Ottomans. Which does have to happen soon. Alright. Start that. We're at 99% over here. Out of curiosity... Is it possible for me to fully nom the Palatinate? They'll agree. That's 35% more overextension, which is fine. Okay. Bam. Feeling better over here. Feeling much better. We still have to take care of the rest of the Netherlands at some point. Are they allied with anyone? Lencer. And Great Britain. That's right. That's actually kind of interesting. And by interesting means potentially annoying. My truce with the Ottomans over? Yeah, it has been for some time. I think the next thing to do will be to go and take another whack at the Ottomans. Um, I mean, we still have admin in the bank, and we'll have even more banked up when we're done annexing our current people, 85%, but that's going to happen relatively quick. And then we've got all this border gore here that we can clean up. We can push the Ottomans back. There's a good chance we can take... I don't know. I don't know if we can take that much. But we're going to try to push them back. I mean, ultimately, in the end, I think I'd like to take everything up to and including Constantinople. Basically, everything on the European side, it'd be really nice if it was ours. Because as a, as a sub-goal, as a next goal for Germany, right? Um, I think if all of this were ours, mainland Europe. Like, really, everything Europe. Like, I don't know where the line is over here for where it goes from Europe to Asia. Uh, the mountains? Because, I mean, it's here. This is where you go from Europe to Asia, although we tend to refer to this area more as, I don't know, like, you don't usually talk about this area as being Asia, it's like Middle East or something, but yes, it is Asian. I don't know where the line is. Like, what happens here? I, if I were me, I would say, like, this mountain range and this mountain range is the extent of Europe versus Asia. So you go from here to, like, there or something like that, and then through there. I don't know if that's the way people do it in real life. But, you know, something like that. And, of course, we've got all this taken care of. That's fine. And we've, like, overshot here. That's good. Uh, I might feel like taking Shervin, you know, everything on this side of the mountains. That would be good. And then, certainly, the entire boot and the entire Iberia. And then, I don't know, maybe or maybe we care about Great Britain, maybe we don't. I'm not sure. If this were, like, Hoi 4, then, obviously, we'd have to take Great Britain at some point. I'll have to figure that out next time. Thanks for watching. See you then.